All right, what is up, you guys? Because always, welcome back to our first, really first Wi-Fi bell. And we're up against, you know, a person I've been following for what over ten years, and I'm being so nervous. Um, like I said, I've been following this guy since forever. I <laughs> can't stress enough how cool this is to actually trying to um, stay also somewhat afloat versus a phenomenal battler. That said, no. Uh, let's do our best. I'm not going hard ass as I want to, or rather, I go in with a team that I think will be interesting enough. And um, I definitely want to try out Sangos. It's been a mod that I've been dying for it to be using. Let's see. Oh, he brought all this stuff though. Manic B, Mammoth Swine, Rotom, Scizor. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a tough game. <laughs> Whoa. All right. He's not too shabby though. I mean, definitely masquerade. And I think that that is an obvious, obvious enough lead, right? Um, and we'll take it from there. Huh? Tough team. Man, if he's gonna absolutely rip my team apart. Um, let's hope that doesn't happen too early. <laughs> we only got 20 minutes anyway, so why not try to make the best of it? <laughs> also goes to Yoey. Good luck. Have fun. Um, one thing I really like with like the early meta is that we are in some type of environment where we don't really know what to check for in different environments. Smogon, you don't kind of define that, but when that's not going on, you kind of just have to go with your gut, and uh, that usually means that you're gonna leave yourself somewhat open. I feel somehow I feel Rotom and Manaphy is just about that. I mean, of course, Infernape is phenomenal in this format. I think that stay just that. Uh, let's see, it starts off with Scissor. Yeah, so that's probably his defogger. Uh, definitely worth to uh, make sure that I can't... Um, well, that I can't really abuse my stick web early, which, of course, I won't be trying to do either. Let's see, because we got Sword Stance, Bullet Punch, whatnot. Um, because I think that's going to be problematic. Right? What is Split Beat, right? don't feel like he can just U-turn and just ship me away. Yeah, I'm sick with Um, I do have speed though, so I can only assume he U-turns. Yeah, he did that. So he breaks my sash. Which also means next time he comes in, he's gonna bullet punch me and that's gonna be it. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be problematic, but you know, we'll take it from there. What would he even bring? Like, <laughs> The Rotom could also, of course, be a defogger with phenomenal damage output. And it can also kill me. Of course. <laughs> yeah, here comes the Rotom, which of course is immune, but also Thunderbolt absolutely just kills me. Question is, would it go straight up for a Thunderbolt or a Volt Switch? I think it can bring in Clubber. If it goes for a defog and uh, just stress play, then that would be nice. If it goes for a leaf storm, he's gonna absolutely kill my primate. Um, bolt switch. Yeah, somehow that's better. Wow, that hurts. <laughs> Come on, clever. Let's go. Let's go. Clever Lang. I kind of want to take all that route, but I kind of felt it was over over specific. Pity the fool. Come on. <laughs> He is thinking though, I like that he's thinking. Um, it leads me to believe that he is um, just over analyzing the situation. Scissor comes back, which is definitely fine. Um, it walls a lot of stuff, definitely versus me. The stick web is, all things considered, rather poor for me. Um, close combat is my best hit. Um, wait, I can't see his whole team. They took away that, the plus. Okay. <laughs> you can just bullet punch here. Yeah, I'm going close combat. I definitely want to break this guy somewhat apart. Ah, it does it right. I can only assume that's like a ruse. Maybe it's full stance. Defog. Oh! Oh! That would be nice if I wasn't at minus defense. That would be real nice, really. Of 
question is, should I risk it? Like the bullet punch clearly will sting. He should be defensive though. Let's let's see if that works. <laughs> I mean, even if it kills, I still gotta feel I've pressured him enough. Damn shame, really. I like it though. I like it. I was gonna really, I really like that wasn't a spot. Right. All right. See, Grimlock would be kind of cool to bring. Yeah, choice better superpowers should do something. Thing is, I could have actually brought them. Um, Still, is kind of cool too. The superpower kind of fills the gap, I think. Just such so switch out, which is great. Goes into roll charm. So let's see. Because I don't believe. Like, Leaf Storm does a lot, sure, but this gonna still sting him. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're good. Still, though, like, we suffer from the obvious here. So, if I were him. Oh, Lithal was somewhat defensive. Or we could just throw a Volt Switch, right? Feel. I'm not trying to overthink this, but I feel. Like, he's gonna go for one of the stab moves, of course, but I think Bolt Switch is safer and smarter. Will Wisp. Well, I'm kinda glad I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> that I am. So, do I drop a Draco here? There's no way he's staying in to soak a hit, that's for sure. I think it's his best, like, play. I don't think Surf is too shabby. I think it's, I scare him out as is. It's not a neutral play, but rather I can risk that damage output and see him be a good spot, I think. Because I really want to deal with that scissor as well as possible. Manaphy. Ah, not the mod I wanted to see, honestly. That's not it. That's an awful damage output. <laughs> and the burn plus or. Oh. I mean, I could risk it, go for Draco, I guess, but it is also a theoretical sack play. Because that's a chunky guy. I really don't want to have him all set up, but at the same time, I have nothing out of speed in this. Yeah, this is problematic. Oh! Supposed to roost, or I mean, Draco, oh. <laughs> oh well, come on, let's see. Satillo, Ice Beam, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely killed. No, no, we took it. We really took it kind of well. But yeah, not what I wanted. A Draco would have been um, a better option. Uh, fuck me. Because he is in, and that's it. Right, I'm Dracoing here. Like I said, 10 minute timer just means uh, trying to outmaneuver as much as possible. Oh, well, yeah. okay. <laughs> That's some good damage at least. Um, Tail Glitter. Okay. So we had it. He had it. And he can absolutely take another one. And we haven't seen Rain. So, in theory, I kind of hope I want there isn't like a rest talk set, stuff like that. Because um, now he will start doing damage. Like a lot of it. I swear to lose if I just can't come in and out. I want to try to... Oh, I put myself in such a stupid spot. <laughs> Right, I really hope it doesn't have a way to recover. Like, it's just fat set. Because if that's the case, like, I think I can lose Jeltis, which is something I don't want, but as of right now, that's my best plan, apparently. So I think it, he's gotta be, like, fully offensive, and that means he's going to have um, Energy Ball, Surf, and um, Skull. Or, not Skull, I mean, uh, ice, ice Beam, can't speak. 
can focus, he can... can ja! <laughs> uh, he should have energy ball with this set, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, there we go, nice. That's gonna not ruin me, by the way. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Did not think that. Uh, should I try to go for a skull bird then, I guess? I really need him to crit me or like destroy me. I have a weird mid max. Yeah, none of that. <laughs> Burn him! Yes! Plan that. Plant hacks. Fine as we got. So I've got the Selfrogs up and I got Team Skullbird. You know what? I'll take it. I clearly got myself in, like, I realized in Torque range. That kind of helps. <laughs> Energy Ball. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jiltis. I definitely have bigger plans for you. I really did. But I still need like to break or kill him and then basically see how badly Manaphy eats me alive. I don't believe you want to try to preserve this. I could be wrong. Because I think as of right now, I straight up lose the Infernape anyway. I'm like going down with uh, little to no health. Actually, Psychic, I think it's going to potentially switch out. So I think I'm gonna... Oh, he stays in. Fine. Will it kill, please? <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> so we're not screwed. Yet. Still, like I said, Manaphy eats this team alive right now. I really wish I could have got Stickweb up, but I am not in the spot. I really aren't. This Manaphy is just straight off badass. <laughs> Alright, Scissor comes in. Did not expect that. We're not selling gelato. And uh, honestly, like minus one here helps ish. It just kind of scary as two defires. That seems like a reality I gotta force a fan off against. No bullet punch. Probably kills anyway, right? Oh, oof, we take it like solid. <laughs> that was no problem at all. Right? Stick a whip. I did decide to say him though, so I assume he U-turns. Defox. Oh, so he had it. Damn shame. Kind of hoping he did it. Ah. Two Defoggers. That's ambitious. Right, stick web again. I know it sounds or looks weird, but really, uh, at this point, I just want to try, and I really mean try, to get ahead. Huh. It is always a sack play Dero. Because I think he could go for the kill, or he could just straight up be badass and go for Defo again, which is more likely. And I can lock myself into Stone Edge. And fuck. Sangu's is right now, like, I need it to work, and as long as he does this, that won't happen. As long as Rotom is active, um, a, lot, a lot less things is gonna happen anyway. I think you could sack play here, but I'm pretty sure Rotom comes in. And I need a stone edge to connect. Dang. Kill. More. More kill. I want the more kill part than anything else. Come on, buddy. Come on! Yes! Uh, this would have been way better. And I, it would have been way better had I not been forced to deal with... Um, ah. <laughs> like I said, this would have been way better if um, I was not forced to pretty much sack play here. Uh, yeah, I gotta let him kill him with Fair Blitz. If he goes for it, he goes for it. <laughs> because I don't believe I have anything left on my team to soak this guy at all. Ah. 
No. I am absolutely dead. All I've got to hope for is all the recall and whatnot. I guess gotta get myself in this spot there. Um, I have a vision in mind. I can only assume he's choice scarfed and I'm gonna lose anyway, but I want to try to get myself into a position where Sangos make sense. <laughs> Thirlets. Jesus, well, what can I do? Like, this is choice bad is set. This is like way over. <laughs> And like I said, like going into this game, I was really just um, trying to bring something a bit more, not unique, I should say, but I definitely, like the hard ass teams, I feel I can't do them and I can't do them justice. So I'm really happy to be forced fitting off against that and probably against one of the players I really think does these teams the most justice because I'm getting destroyed. But I feel fine with it, really. <laughs> it could have been worse. Um, now I can only hope one thing, that two Intimidates make sure the Sangos don't die, but also, like, the worst part is, um, let's say now I do a lot of damage, I could or might as well bring him into uh, um, his Storm, like, Quick Attack should not kill. No way, not without the Toxic Boost, Let let's see what happens, oh, he withdraws, ah, oh, come on! <laughs> Deuces are fine. Come on, Sangus. I need to work here. I don't know how, I don't know really how, honestly. Without the sticky web, this won't do me justice. But at the same time, I don't think it was ever supposed to. Ah, such a tough team. I like it, but it's definitely overwhelming me with ease. <laughs> Come on, Sangus. How much will this do? Ah, not even close. Not even close. Ah, it's a damn shame too. Yeah, I was trying. I was really trying. It's just... I'm facing up against a player that is way ahead of my league. <laughs> and two defoggers. Never, never would have thought about it. Because all I was thinking was, in theory, and I really mean in theory, um, that uh, if I just could get, like, Roll to my way, then Sister would be you know, a future problem basically. But now in the spot instead, where oh, probably needed to deal with both, <laughs> and I had nothing of it. So that said, Joey, fuck me, thank you, man. Awesome game, very, very well played. Um, yeah, this was this was tough. Maybe I shouldn't say prime and whatnot, but at the, in the end of the day, you know, I'm facing off against a guy, guy that's way ahead of me, and um, I was just happy to be able to. Really get a chance to battle him. So that's the guys, as always. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Joey's side of this battle. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, of course, take care, alright? Bye.